Nangolo Mbumba, my brother, the president of Namibia, and your dear wife, Madam Monica Gengos, and your family and children, Your Excellency, Madam Vice President of Namibia, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government and the Head of Delegations. I bring you solemn greetings from the people of Kenya and profound condolences on the demise of our brother, the President of Namibia, President Hage Gengos. I learned of his demise with shock. And the first thing I did was to pick my phone and call the Vice President, who we were colleagues before. And I passed my condolences and those of the people of Kenya to him. Today, I join you on behalf of the people of Kenya and government of Kenya on this solemn send-off of our brother, the President of Namibia. President Gengob was a great freedom fighter. He was an accomplished scholar and the architect of the Namibian constitution that has given this country great stability. President Kengo was a passionate leader and the third president of Namibia and he stood tall as a Pan-Africanist who believed in the unity of our continent. We know that President Kengo believed that independence is a project and work in progress. We must work hard on this independent and freedom project, especially now, so that we can liberate, not just for independence sake, but we can liberate our economies, settled with debt, liberate our young people trapped in unemployment. These are principles President Tengo worked so hard to achieve. Inspired by his spirit of Pan-Africanism, those of us in SADC, in EAC, in COMESA, and all of us as members of the Africa Union, we must work together to make sure that we execute the reform of the international financial architecture so that we can liberate our economies from debt so that we can demand that as nations we are not profiled negatively we are not profiled unfairly that together again we must demand responsible sovereign lending that ensures that our countries have resources, concessional resources that can help us position our continent as the epicenter of the next industrial revolution. Together, as a continent, 
believing in what President Gengo believed in, we must stand together with one voice to reform our African Union, to make it fit for purpose, so that we can march into the future as the epicenter of green manufacturing, position ourselves with our resources, enormous resources, the enormous energy resources, agricultural potential, mineral, and natural resources that we have, we cannot certainly be a continent defined by poverty. We must be a continent defined by opportunity, by potential, and by investment. That is what President Gengo believed in. I will miss my brother Gengo next month in April when we convene and I have invited my brothers from this continent for us to have, to have a candid conversation with our development brothers and sisters with the donor community under the IDA 21 replenishment framework with the World Bank so that we can have a proper positioning of our continent and claim our place as a continent of potential, opportunity and investment. My brother Nangolo Mbumba, you're fitting into the big shoes of our departed brother. We believe that you have what it takes and you can count on the support of Kenya as you take the reins of leadership in your great country. Mama Monica, you are a great pillar of our brother. You have our prayers, you and your children as you face the future and we stand in solidarity with you and your family and to all the people of Namibia. May Gengob's soul rest in peace. I thank you. President Ruto for that uh, tribute. I would like to uh, recognize the presence of Nusa.